So I've been waiting for clarity to talk about this one. <laughs> I finally got it. After a run, a little exercise. Sunday morning, August 5, 2018. Dead of the summer here in New York City. Hot. Up in the 80s. So I want to address um, a, good, uh, a good subject. An oldie but a goodie is um, the need for a new deal. And what does that mean? Right? So I want to address Al. Um, it comes from the discussion that we're having with uh, Al Trust. Thank you. Mr. Trust, and uh, uh, Sterling is in that thread too. Uh, you know, that video I made trying to expose the terminology and the trickery of how the oligarchy holds things in place is, is, is imminent, right? It's, a, it's, an important, it's an important video, it's an important subject for people to understand. And it plays into your, your poker analogy. So, so um, as I understand it, I was a, a, a poker trader. I played poker, poker trader, that's not the right term. Poker player, online poker player, and it was a booming industry. And then um, the gamers, the bigger gamers came in and shut it down, right? Government, right? So I want to I wanna explain, um, I want to explain insider trading and how the market how the market works, right? So my experience in 08, right, was witnessing a, the collapse of a, of a market, right? And how did that happen? Because speculation, the Wall Street has got, they went so far to, to out there into the unknown that nobody knew what they were doing. And they created these credit default swaps, which was insurance. They were selling insurance against a, inflated real estate market right the reefs and all the reefs and whatever they were called right so they were bundling junk junk bonds right that that were were you know kind of fakely inflated by the US government held up to, to keep creeping up in price right and and they were they were a sure thing until Goldman Sachs stepped in and created this market called the credit default market which was insurance that, you know, if that ever went down, right? If it ever if if it ever went down, then we would we would cover you, right? Right. <laughs> it's a very it's a very twisted market. But the bottom line is that Goldman Sachs systematically blew out Lehman Brothers, who had a tremendous amount of this junk, and they put they put uh, AIG out of business. Right? They also almost put Citibank out of, out of business, but Citibank got, got the bailout, right? They, they, the government stepped in and gave them billions and billions of dollars to, to, hold, to, hold, to hold it up, right? These are the scumbags, right? <laughs> These guys, look, there's only, one, there's only one function of Wall Street, right? And that's to make money. There's only one function of a publicly traded company, and that's to make money. Is that my assessment? No, that's their assessment. That's their testimony to the, to the shareholders, right? But the shareholders don't exist anymore. They are the shareholders. So they, their, their function is to make their own money. Why? Because people like Al and people like me and other speculators at the time got blown out because of a rigged market, right? So I want to I wanna explain the, 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 the um, it, like in, in layman's terms, the, the short sale, right? So most people, most people don't know this. Al, you probably do know it. But the short sale, right, is basically when you buy something that you don't own. You sell it. You're selling before you buy, right? So, so the markets are going up, right? So the market makers, what they're doing is they're selling to the people that are buying into the story. Apple, oh, new phone. So they're, they're selling into that idea. Not necessarily with Apple because the float is very large, but with smaller companies that they can manipulate, that's what they're doing. They're, they're selling into the story. And once all of the selling, once all of that, that consumer small guy buying stops, what they do is they start, they continue to sell all the way down, driving those people out. They're taking their money. And when the market goes below where they started to sell, 
they buy it back at a profit. That's called the short sale, right? That's what Wall Street does 85, 90% of the time. That's what smart traders used to do until they made it illegal, right? Well, until they made it so difficult that you couldn't even do it. Now, I just, I don't trade anymore, but I know I was recently talking to someone who does, and he was a young guy, and he had no idea that he didn't even, he barely, he trades, but he barely understood the concept of the short sale, right? Like, like it's not something he's allowed to do in his account, which I found to be profoundly ridiculous. That, so, so, so here's the tie-in, right? Wall Street, that, that idea that we're going to, the casino, the casino economy that Sanders always talks about, this is what happens when people that don't understand markets open their fucking mouth, like politicians that don't know what they're talking about. The biggest bamboozle in the history of markets was Obama, where he had no idea what he was doing, and he hires Timothy Geithner, right, the, the, the treasury, as Treasury Secretary, who was a Goldman Sachs implant, right? The guys that crashed the market, created a fake market, tried to sell that junk shit insurance to China, and they said, fuck you. They tried to sell it to Russia. Russia said, fuck you. That's why they don't like, the, they don't like those economies, because they're not stupid, and they don't play into the, they don't play into the hand, the, 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 cro the crooked hand of Wall Street. Europe does. Europe is stupid. The Germans, the fucking the English, they'll buy anything. Look at Greece. Greece bought the default swaps. They, they, they fucking went bankrupt. Goldman Sachs bankrupted Greece, for example, by, by, by leaning their, their municipalities. So when you fly into Greece and, and you pay a ta like an like a airport tax, that goes into Goldman Sachs' pocket because of the default swaps. So what happened was, just, just to wrap it up, what happened was Goldman Sachs, right, in 08, when, 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 the, when the real estate market reversed and went down 10%, and all of, these, all of these companies were leveraged 40 to 1 because they thought that the market would keep going up, and it, cra and, you know, it crashed, Goldman Sachs was shorting their own credit default swaps to drive it down, right? It, in a lo long story short, Goldman Sachs, AIG owed Goldman Sachs $50 billion. I believe Lehman Brothers owed about the same, right? And there were many other companies. Citibank had, had this shit in their accounts. They, there were so many people, so many big brokers that, that, that uh, owed Goldman Sachs the money, right? And rather than fold, Goldman Sachs says, no, fuck you. We want our money, right? That's what they did. They had Timothy Geithner, and then at the time, the Treasury... The Treasury Secretary at the time was Paulson. Henry Paulson was also a Goldman Sachs transplant under Bush. Do you see the connection? Is it is it that fucking hard to figure out what they're doing? That that they they're not they're rigging they're rigging the economy against you, right? There's no deregulation. There's no the regulation hit the hit the customer, right? It hit people like you and I because they don't care about us anymore because they took all the money. Right? So, you know, I, 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 I don't know how to make it more clear that, 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 that it, it is the biggest problem we're facing is oligarchy. Right? Because it, it ties in also to the slave labor. How does that stuff stay in place? Right? Because people are so tired and they work too hard and they, there's no more unions. Right? And the idea is to just bang people out. Keep them working, keep them stupid, keep them ignorant. Now, does Trump know this game? Does Trump know the Wall Street shuffle? Of course he does. Of course he does. Did, did the American people think that somehow that they're going to break through this, this corrupt finance system, the campaigning, how, how politicians are bought, bought to keep this in place, and how Wall Street speculates? Right? So that, that analogy of Wall Street, right? The short sale, they, they weren't, they're not regulated. Right? They, they do more of the gambling and more of the casinoism. It's you who can't do it. See, that's where it becomes socialism for the rich. I, I don't want to use the term, but that's what it is. It's a system rigged by the government who thinks that they're working on behalf of the people, 
by empowering Wall Street banks and 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 you know and and schlock firms like Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan, right? But but they're not because those firms will never work on behalf of the people. That's not what they do. Right? That's not what they do. That's not the the nature of what they do. And then the people that are are assigned to regulate them, idiots like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. Like these people are fools. They have no idea what they're doing. All they know is take the money, put the money in your pocket, and go along with, with, with the suits and ties on Wall Street because they're, they're supposed to know what they're doing. Right? I hope that was clear. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, a little bit of an opinionist rant today on Wall Street. We need a new deal. Right? The only Let me finish with the solution because I hate to not... I watch a video and I say, oh, I didn't give the solution. The solution is, is what Tim Canova said. Watch the Tim Canova video. Tim Canova is a law professor. He gets it. Right? It's we need a new deal, right? Because if you, if you, you cannot regulate guys on Wall Street. You can't do it because they're, they're, they know the game inside, outside, upside down. And every time you try a regulation, they'll put it back on someone else. That's the nature of the deal. It's the nature of what they do. Right? You just tax them. You, you, you have to tax them. Let them do the speculation and tax them on their income. Right? You militarize the IRS against them. You tax them. You hold them accountable. They'll scream socialist regulation. They'll say America, they're taking down the flag. They're making a communist. They'll say all those things to protect their own, their own gain. And what happens from that is that the money then truly trickles down. The money that they're stealing then hits the real economy in the form of the velocity of money. Money starts to move through the economy again because people have it. People that have money, like People that only make $100,000 or less spend that money. But people with billions and billions of dollars, they don't spend the money. They, they park it. They steal it. They hide it. They, 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 you know, and it never hits the real economy. And people, that's why you have object poverty. That's why you have, you know, one in seven people on food stamps. That's why you have, you know, all this. Nobody has money. $400, $400 that's the most people have. 70% of the country, that's the most people have today. And everybody's tied into this, 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 this way, this forced labor idea that the corporations, that, that they're making so much liquid money and so much fucking money that they don't even know what you're talking about when, when, when someone may, works 40 hours a week and they can't, they can't pay their, their rent and they can't eat. Right? They don't understand it, right? And if you keep, you keep listening to these people, through the fake media that's promoting it, we never break out of the cycle, right? That's why the focus must be on oligarchy, because if you, if you fix the problem there, if you, if, you, if you take the money, if you take the control and the, the absolute power that these fuckers have over our economy away from them, then they can't pay off the politicians, and then we start to get an honest flow of politicians. Then, then the judicial starts to reflect the 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 the, uh, the needs and the wants and the cries of the people right the executive branch we get a president that actually understands and cares about the people right we get a that's not that's not there's no term for that it the only term that we know to call it is a new deal where democracy then reigns again but right now we have monopoly we have oligarchy and without without you could argue all all you want that you know that the that the markets are rigged, and they, they are, they to, they totally are. Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, rant. Peace out.